Jimmy Kimmel Live Concert Series, presented by Coors Light. Our next guest sold 14 million albums during the glory days of hard rock and big hair as bands tend to do. They broke up, but they're now back together with this new CD. It's called Into the Now, making their late night television debut, believe it or not, with a song Caught in the caught in a dream. Here is Tesla, everybody. Live concert series presented by Coors Light. By Tesla's CD into the now. Now go to abc.com, keyword Kimmel, and click on the CD cover.
I want to thank Tesla as their CD into the now. They're great. Chris Klein, United States of Leland opens tomorrow. Ashley Scott walking tall opens tomorrow. Tomorrow, Larry King, Stephen Van Zandt, and the Chesterfield Kings will be with us. Thanks for watching. Good night. There you go. You're watching. Tony. Oh. Inside, let's go. Hold his neck for you, please, Ray. <laughs> Don't move him. Don't move. Hold his neck for you, Ray. Look out, look out, look out, look out. Look out, look out. Look out. Look out. Look out. Legs. Just give them room, baby. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Oh. What happened in the chair? Uncle Frank's out there. No, it wasn't. What? No, no. What Just get mean? better. Just get better. What? Hold on a second. Hold on. Why did... It was an it's April Fool's joke. Uncle Frank and I. Most what? Uncle Frank. Sorry, Jim. Sal and I, we're crazy. Frank, you want to come over here? You can barely hear. Right. That's a, that's a Just take me to the hospital. Oh. Jimmy. Just go. We didn't think we could get hurt. We did it on purpose. We're sorry. Uncle Frank. Sal and me. April so. Fools. <laughs> he didn't know. He didn't I had know. no idea. He didn't know. No, he knew. How'd everybody, how'd everybody get involved? How'd so many people get involved? That's the camera. I don't know. Holy sh**. Scott, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs>
I saw a commercial for cash call and called 86 cash. $10,000 was in my account the next day. <laughs> I, little kids can get cash $10,000 that easy? <laughs> You know, no. Mr. Drummond stole everything. It's really a sad, sad story. <laughs> what a mess this country is. Who gets money based on Gary Coleman's endorsement? I, if you need money, I say you get it the old-fashioned way, like this. Right. So the holidays have passed, and those credit card bills just keep piling up, and there seems to be no relief in sight. How will you pay those huge bills? Well, Isleta Casino Resort comes to your rescue. It's Isleta Casino Resort's $80,000 Sensational Sundays Cash Giveaway. Well, that solves all your problems if you're in debt. But what if you go to the casino to win that cash to pay all your bills, but instead of winning the cash, you lose all your cash instead? So you went to Isleta Casino Resorts and racked up huge gambling losses. What will you do now? Call Gary Coleman. $10,000 and come on back to his Letta Casino Resorts. There you go. Okay. All right. Back to the casino. Good Oprah repeat uh, last night. Oprah went to Costco, which happens to be my favorite store. Actually, I'm taking the girls there this weekend. Uh, I guess she ran out of mozzarella sticks or something. So she went to be like the regular people. And uh, once again, Oprah's foul mouth soiled the day. That's going to be too tight. So you want to go with XL on yeah. the top? Yeah. Okay. For my boopies. <laughs> Give my boopies room. Where is the FCC when we need them? <laughs> you know, they're cracking down because of the Janet Jackson thing, but they leave Oprah alone. Everybody in broadcasting is nervous. People are uh, cutting and rewriting and blurring and bleeping, and we have to do it, of course. You know, there's a yeah, special eye kept on these things here. Uh, so we thought, why only bleep out the bad words when you can bleep out good words, too, and make it seem dirty? And uh, here's what we're calling uh, unnecessary censorship featuring Matt Lauer and Donald Trump. You've always said that your is one of your most valuable selling points. But I would also say this. Nobody has gotten more bad over the years than Donald Trump. <laughs> no way to talk about it, Lauer. Um, speaking of Donald Trump, I think you'll see how this relates. This is from the local news today, and keep a close eye on reporter Gail Anderson's hair. <laughs> oh, there she goes! Oh! There you go, the hat and the hair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what can happen to you? Oh, no. He used to have it in Ted Koppel all the time when he was a young reporter. It's nothing to worry about. And finally, I have a new uh, favorite TV station. It's an evangelical station. It's called The Word. It's a TV. Yeah. Have you watched The Word? Very nice, yes. Very nice. Well, The Word is uh, great. And uh, <laughs> no matter what your religion is, I think you're going to like it. You got to do that word this year. You got to do that word this year. And when we're sitting back down, you can't help but touch the world. Oh, you just pull that thing down. Pull it down. Welcome to my world, Dr. Shine and DD. I have a feeling we're going to be seeing a lot of you two in the future. <laughs> Tonight, uh, the ravishing star of Walking Tall, Ashley Scott, is here with us. My uncle Frank has an April Fool's trip to pull while well, he pulled on me earlier today. Our musical guest tonight is Tesla. And when we get back, the star of the new movie, United States of Leland, Chris Klein is here. Come on back. The movie Walking Tall. Uncle Frank has an April Fool's presentation for us. <laughs> you know, like so many actors in Hollywood, our first guest tonight was discovered coming out of the weight room of his high school in Omaha, Nebraska. You've seen him in the movie Election and American Pie 1 and 2. This Friday, he stars with Kevin Spacey in the United States of Leland. Please welcome a fine young man, Chris Klein, everybody. <laughs> You 
know what? I have a... <laughs>